What's up, rascals? I've decided to give you guys a quick little vlog, an update slash, um, what is this going to be? It's kind of like a unboxing or a haul video. Yeah, 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 one of those. I just wanted to real quickly share with you guys a few things that I picked up and I did it before the weekend even started officially. Wednesday on my way home from work, I stopped at this little game store that's close by on a, just a tiny bit out of the way, but it's it, it's like close enough to my work that it's, it doesn't matter. I was just glancing through the NES games that they had there and came across this. I haven't seen Burger Time in so long. I can't even remember the last time I ever saw Burger Time. I don't think I ever played it, ever. I remember my friend's cousins had this game and they brought it over once. It, at the time, it didn't really catch my interest because it wasn't Mario Brothers or Zelda. I, I, I've been there a couple times before and each time there was a particular game that just sat there in the display case, just calling out to me. And I told myself before going in there, if it's still there, you're getting it. And as luck would have it, I was able to get it. And I might find one later down the road in better condition or for a cheaper price. I don't care. I have no regrets. Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64? Yes, please. If it was ever possible to wear out a Nintendo game cartridge, me and my brothers would have done it because we played Smash, like, almost non-stop. And so I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to add that back into my collection of games. And yesterday, while I was up in Renton visiting the only fries close to me, which is a stretch of the definition, I had to pick up a new power supply for my computer. I, I, I believe I've mentioned that in the previous vlog. Anyway, decided on a whim to go across the street to the Target and uh, look around there and uh, yeah, I came across this. Guy wanted one anyway and it was there and I, I had the opportunity to get one. So, I did it. Look at this thing. It's so cute and little. Man, I don't even, I don't even know. I mean, this is the first time I'm act I've actually been able to physically hold a SNES Classic in my hands. The reset and the power buttons are actually the reset and power. It's the, it's the real switches. It's so little and cute. I don't want to play it. I just want to cuddle it. It's adorable. It's so tiny compared to my original SNES. Mine's a little bit worse for wear as far as looks go, but I still love it. Can't have it. Mine. Mine. And I can guarantee you that I'm going to have the same reaction when I finally get my hands on an NES Classic. And if the rumors are to be believed, the N64 Classic, when that comes out. It's an adorable little baby consoles. That's always been a thing about me is like, I see a miniature version of something and I'm so enamored by how tiny and cute it is. I've been that way ever since I was little. It's like, it's a... Like you see the little four and a half ounce cans of soda instead of the usual eight ounce size. I see them and I think they're adorable. Well, that's gonna be it for me for this video. Uh, real quick before I go, after Nemo is done, would you guys like to see a let's play of Burger Time? Or maybe I should just do a different game for my collection. There's plenty to choose from still. All right, well, you guys have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.